Today we're diving deep into the thrilling world of supernovae, those awe-inspiring stellar explosions that illuminate the cosmos. But this isn't your ordinary supernova story. No, today we're uncovering the incredible tale of SN 2023 IKXF, a celestial event that has challenged our understanding of massive star deaths in ways we never imagined. So, what makes this supernova so special? Well, imagine a massive star, akin to a cosmic onion, shedding layers and pulsing with energy, right before its magnificent explosion. But there's a twist. This star didn't follow the expected script. It exhibited a delayed shock breakout, leaving astronomers puzzled and eager to explore the mysteries hidden in the final moments of its life. But wait, there's more. Our journey takes us to the pinwheel galaxy, just a stone's throw away in cosmic terms where amateur astronomers played a pivotal role in this groundbreaking discovery. Today, we'll embark on a quest to unravel the secrets of SN 2023 IXF, examining its unexpected mass loss and what it tells us about the tumultuous lives of massive stars. So, get ready for a mind-blowing cosmic adventure as we venture into the heart of a supernova, explore the fascinating science behind it, and learn how dedicated amateur astronomers are shaping our understanding of the universe. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up, because this is the story of SN 2023 IXF, the supernova that changed everything. Just before its explosion, this star expelled a mass equivalent to that of our sun. Amateur astronomers pinpointed the supernova, which has the potential to significantly enhance our comprehension of the deaths of massive stars. New observations indicate that a massive star that detonated in the Pinwheel Galaxy in May experienced an unexpected loss of roughly the same mass as our Sun during its final years before becoming a supernova. This discovery sheds light on the mysterious concluding stages of massive stars. On the evening of May 19th, Japanese amateur astronomer Koichi Itagaki was conducting his routine sweep for supernovae using telescopes located in three remote observatories spread across the country, including Yamagata, Okayama, and the island of Shikoku. Amateur astronomers have a rich history of discovering exploding stars before professionals can spot them. Itagaki, for instance, has discovered over 170 of them, surpassing the tally of more than 150 by UK amateur astronomer Tom Bowles. When Itagaki spotted the light of SN 2023 IXF, he immediately recognized that he had found something unique. This is because the star had exploded in the nearby pinwheel galaxy, Messier 101, which is just 20 million light years away in the Ursa Major constellation. Relatively close on a cosmic scale, soon, amateur astronomers worldwide started observing SN 20-23 IKXF, as the pinwheel galaxy is a popular target for observation. However, speed is essential in supernova observations because astronomers aim to understand precisely what happens in the moments immediately following a star's supernova explosion. Often, a supernova is detected several days after the explosion, causing astronomers to miss its early stages. Considering how relatively close SN 2023 IXF was and how early it was identified, it became a prime candidate for in-depth study. Upon receiving the alert about the supernova, Postgraduate student Daichi Hiramatsu of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, CFA, said, I received an urgent email from Koichi Itagaki as soon as he discovered SN2223 IXF. Hiramatsu and his colleagues quickly followed up with several professional telescopes at their disposal, including the 6.5-meter multi-mirror telescope, MMT, at the Fred Lawrence Whipple Observatory on Mount Hopkins in Arizona. They analyzed the supernova's light spectrum and how it changed over the ensuing days and weeks, creating a light curve when plotted on a graph. The spectrum of SN 2023 IXF revealed that it was a Type II supernova, a category of supernova explosion associated with stars more massive than eight times the mass of the Sun. In the case of SN 2023 IXF, archival images of the pinwheel suggested that the exploded star may have had a mass between 8 and 10 times that of our Sun. The spectrum also appeared very red, indicating the presence of significant dust near the supernova that absorbed blue wavelengths but allowed red wavelengths to pass through. 
While this was somewhat typical, what stood out was the shape of the light curve. Typically, a type Tapai supernova undergoes a shock breakout very early in its evolution as the blast wave expands outward from the star's interior and breaches the star's surface. However, the expected flash of light from this shock breakout was absent, not appearing for several days. This raised questions. Was this a supernova unfolding in slow motion, or was something else happening? Hiramatsu explained, the delayed shock breakout is direct evidence for the presence of dense material from recent mass loss. Our new observations revealed a significant and unexpected amount of mass loss, close to the mass of the sun, in the final year prior to explosion. Imagine an unstable star ejecting substantial material from its surface, creating a dusty cloud of expelled stellar material around it. The supernova shockwave not only has to break through the star, causing it to explode, but also must pass through all this ejected material before becoming visible. In the case of SN 2023 IXF, this process took several days. Massive stars often shed mass, as demonstrated by Betelgeuse in late 2019 and early 2020, when it released a cloud of matter with a mass ten times that of Earth's moon, temporarily dimming its light. However, Betelgeuse is not yet ready to go supernova, and by the time it does, the ejected cloud will have moved far enough away from the star for the shock breakout to be immediately visible. In contrast, the ejected material from SN 2223 IXF was still very close to the star, indicating it had been expelled recently, which astronomers did not anticipate. Edo Berger, Hiramatsu's supervisor at the CFA, observed SN 2023 IXF with the submillimeter array on Mauna Kea in Hawaii, allowing him to witness the collision between the supernova shockwave and the circumstellar cloud. To understand how massive stars behave in their final years leading up to a supernova explosion, astronomers must detect supernova when they are very young and nearby, studying them across various wavelengths. Using optical and millimeter telescopes, researchers effectively turned SN 2023 IXEF into a time machine, reconstructing the activities of its progenitor star up to its demise. The question that arises is, what caused the instability? We can liken an evolved massive star to an onion with different layers, each composed of different elements formed through sequential nuclear burning as the star ages, contracts, and heats up in its core. The outermost layer consists of hydrogen, followed by helium, carbon, oxygen, neon, and magnesium until reaching silicon in the core. Fusion reactions in a massive star's core halt at iron, as iron requires more energy for the reaction than it produces, making it inefficient for the star. Consequently, the core shuts down, the star collapses onto it, rebounds, and then explodes outward. One possibility is that the final stages of burning high-mass elements inside the star, such as silicon, which is consumed rapidly, may disrupt the star causing bursts of energy that traverse the star and lift material from its surface. This is an area astronomers will explore further, now that they have observed it in a relatively nearby supernova. The story of SN 2023 EIXF underscores the contribution of amateur astronomers to our understanding of the evolution of massive stars and their supernova explosions. Hiramatsu noted, Without Itagaki's work and dedication, we would have missed the opportunity to gain critical understanding of the evolution of massive stars and their supernova explosions. In recognition of his contributions, Itagaki is listed as an author on the paper describing their results.